Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Recently, I was helping a friend appraise a collection and I ran across this tin and uh, it has 200 cards. It says over $60 of catalog value and guaranteed uh, Pujols, Jeter, and A-Rod. And you may think, well, that's weird. Like, I don't really care about Pujols, Jeter, or A-Rod. But what this is, is actually it's from 2005 from the Fairfield Company, the makers of the infamous or famous Fairfield box. So I thought it'd be interesting to, to take a look at this. Maybe we'll find some uh, TTM fuel in here. Uh, maybe there's some hidden gems. So let me get this open and we'll check it out. All right, so let's crack this bad boy open. We got some cardboard. Okay, oh, I guess that's where the cards are. Maybe we'll leave those for the end. Those seem more important. So uh, we will take a look at this box. Got a little mini box, that's cool. So, <laughs> well, this is very interesting. So I've never opened one of these. Maybe one of you guys have. If you have, let me know. Maybe your experience was, was, is going to be similar to mine where you're like, what in the world is this? Or maybe, It'll be awesome. So, well, looks like we got our hits right off the stack here, uh, right off the top here. So we got an A-Rod National Pastime. That's a cool looking one. And then I think we're gonna have our Jeter right there. And then our uh, Bulls. Well, that takes out the uh, suspense a little bit, <laughs> but uh, let's see what else we got in here. Maybe there's some rookie cards. Um, some things that Fairfield uh, slipped in here and uh, didn't remember and be like, well, maybe that's not the best card to put in here, Alan Ashby. So I always like the Fairfield boxes. I mean, just for kind of getting some random stuff. Um, oh, Corey Snyder, he signs TTM. Is there another card there? Cecil Fielder. And oh, got a Sandy Alomar. That's a cool one. Thad Bosley. So we'll probably kind of cruise through these. Little Joey Cora, Willie Upshaw, Rob Murphy, Franklin Stubb, he signs CTM. Oh, nice Wade Boggs, got a Hall of Famer. We'll, we'll pull out our Hall of Famers. Ron Jones, nice. Rhino, that's my son's favorite player. Bill Spires. And let's, um, oh, got some 86 Donruss. Gary Gaiety, that's an awesome one. Jeff Stone. These are a little bricked. Oh, not too bad. Oh, so, so this is, uh, I have no year, what idea what year these are. Oh, four upper deck. So definitely don't have any of those. Got Ben Grieve, he signs TTM. Alex Escobar. Ooh, and a Griffey. We'll take that, wrong uniform, but that's okay. That's a cool one. Let's grab our next stack of these. So yeah, it looks like our next little bit here are these upper deck cards. Maybe I can find the middle. Like any good upper deck cards, they are every which way. These are interesting. They're a little bit thicker card stock. So let's see what we can find. They're a little stuck together. Doug Mankiewicz, famous for catching the last out of the 2004 World Series for the Red Sox. Ooh, nice, and Edgar. Oh, come on. In the field, that's awesome. Must be, looks like an all-star game. Maybe he was taking some batting practice, or some fielding practice. Season highlight, Rafael Palmero, Jim Tomey. Very nice. Reindeer Studios and Haas. I know you, wrong uniform, but you guys still love him. Um, Jimmy Rollins, Pat Henkin. So he signs TTM. I haven't sent out to him. I need to add him to my list, or at least I've seen people get him back. Bernie. And Mike Mussina, Hall of Famer. So yeah, this uh, these, are, these, these cards look like they'd be pretty cool signed. Um, star rookies and uh, kind of fun to get get some different cards that I've never seen before. Ricky Gutierrez. 
playing the infield. That's funny. Played for the Mariners for a couple years. He was pretty decent. Carlos Delgado, Tim Hudson, and Pedro Astacio. So then we have a bunch of these Fleer cards. So these look to be all the same direction, maybe. Um, so let's see what this is. We got Fleer, 2005 Fleer. So this looks like um, just a bunch of these. Omar Vizquel, Tori Hunter. So uh, yeah, so these might be decent. That's kind of like a matte finish on these. They might look decent. I mean, they already have a signature on them, but kind of a cool um, set maybe to get signed TTM. Grady Sizemore, he, um, so quick story about Grady Sizemore. Uh, he went to, uh, grew up in Washington, um, about, went to high school about an hour south of where uh, I live and I actually played basketball against him uh, growing up, so um, I'm going to leave that one out. So I was always a big fan of him. He's yeah, super nice guy. He was money uh, basketball player as well. Um, kind of had his career cut short due to injuries, which was a bummer. But um, yeah, so all kinds of oh, nice John Smoltz, a Barry Zito. So yeah, these are interesting. I've never seen these ones, and we have lots. Scott Hatterberg, I've seen uh, yeah, a couple of people get him back recently eric chavez yeah so this is kind of fun to kind of fill in those gaps um in collecting where you know i wasn't wasn't kind of on the radar for me but uh you know ooh, raw abanez eddie's baseball autographs he's a big fan so oh kenny lofton charles johnson Carlos Delgado, he was uh, he always ripped it up on my fantasy teams. I always was a big Delgado fan. Roy Halladay, rest in peace. Kevin Millwood. So yeah, these are kind of interesting. Um, Sean Estes, he actually uh, pitched for the Bellingham Mariners when he was. I'm sure it's not on this card at all, but. Um, yeah, as he was coming up in the in the Mariners minor league system. Oh, nice! Another Edgar. We'll take that. So we've gotten uh, we've gotten some decent value. I don't know if we're up to sixty dollars yet, <laughs> but uh, we will see what else we get. Willie Mo Pena. He was going to be huge. He could hit the ball a mile. He could also strike out like nobody's business. Joel Pinero. Out lighter. Oh, nice. David Ortiz. We'll keep that one out. Sean Green, that was kind of at the heights of his powers. He's a money player back in the day. D. Brown, Scott Rowland. I think he'll get into the Hall of Fame one of these days. Pedro, Quinton McCracken, Chone, Figgins. Very nice. So a bunch of Fleer. And then uh, it looks like these are. I was thinking that these are going to be a little bit more special, but it looks like we just have some. Uh, some victory packs and we have a um jeff bagwell on there so let's take a look at these bad boys so yeah this must have been um with the 05 fleer i'm assuming this is probably like 05 oh no this is 99 victory they're a little bricked but not too bad um this is when fairfield was just trying to dump all kinds of stuff so let's see what we got oh we got a mo, mo rivera Hall of Famer, Javier Vasquez. Okay, so then we have some Upper Deck Choice, Ben Grieve. I think this is like Collector's Choice that year, Rob Nen. So these are kind of cool. I've always enjoyed Collector's Choice. Thank you, Upper Deck, for putting them every direction. Another Quentin McCracken, one of the best names in baseball history in my book. A Rafael Palmero, El Duque, Walt Weiss, or Walter Weiss, and Roberto Hernandez. Not Fausto Carmona changed to Roberto Hernandez, the actual Roberto Hernandez. And actually, I've seen him sign TTM before. Haven't He's on my eventually to-do list when I run out of everyone I've ever sent to. But Ooh, Jose Offerman. Very nice. I'll oh, got a Ripken. Fernando Vina. Hidalgo. 
Yeah, so these must be like, I don't know why they would be like, maybe they're like preview packs or something. Uh, let me know if you were collecting. Hey, look, another Quentin McCracken. Uh, let me know if you were collecting in, uh, Brett Saber again, in 99 and remember getting these packs. Um, you know, if this was something that they upper deck did. I really have no idea. Edgar Renteria. So we got two more of these. Dustin Hermanson got him back TTM. Scott Carl. Jeff King just saw, um, yeah, Haas. A couple other people get him back. Tony Batista. Wilson Alvarez just got him back. Oh, where are we going? How many cards are stuck? Oh, we want to get that one out. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got an A-Rod with the right team before he, uh, you know, made millions of dollars. Mike Caruso. Wally Joyner. Bobby Abreu. Mark Loretta. Shannon Stewart. Yeah, so it goes kind of back and forth between the two, which is kind of interesting. Victory and uh, uh, collector's choice. So last one here, we know we have at least one Hall of Famer. Mickey Morandini? No, that's not who it is. It's Jeff Bagwell. Very nice. Kurt Manwaring. Reggie Sanders. Carlton Lower. Brady Anderson with the awesome chops. My brother often rocks the sideburns, the awesome ones. Ooh, are we going to get a double Mickey Morandini? Also, how many Quentin McCrackens can we get? I like how he played. Yeah, he played for the Rockies and the Rays. Ooh, nice Frank Thomas. I love when guys just like bounce around between uh, expansion teams. Gary Sheffield, Jeff Montgomery, Brett Tomko. Raul Mondesi, he came over in the uh, the Griffey trade. Raul Mondesi, Ishmael Valdez, and Mickey Morandini. So, pretty much, uh, if you are, if you PC Quentin McCracken, let me know, and I will hook you up with some cards. But uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the highlights. Got a Raul Abanez, Grady Sizemore. Frank Thomas, that's a cool looking one. A-Rod, Cal Ripken, Mo Rivera, Pedro, Scott Rowland, David Ortiz, Edgar Martinez, John Smoltz. And then I think these upper deck ones are my favorite. A Musina, Tommy, Edgar, playing the field in an all-star game, and a Griffey Rhino and Wade Boggs. So cool. Well, post in the comments. Let me know what you thought of what was your favorite card. Did you open any of this back in the day? And uh, what is your favorite memory of Quentin McCracken? So uh, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.